Welcome to the CyberWire's Career Notes podcast, brought to you by the University of San Diego's Masters in Cybersecurity Programs, providing cybersecurity engineering training for real-world applications. This is Dick Clark. I'm the CEO of Good Harbor Security Risk Management. I grew up uh, at a time when John Kennedy was president, and his call to uh, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country, resonated a lot with me. Uh, and so I think from the very beginning, I wanted to, uh, to serve in government, to serve in the federal government. I remember going to the White House as a kid, uh, standing outside and, and saying to my father, I'm going to work there. <laughs> Well, when I got out of school, the Vietnam War was uh, still raging. It was the number one issue that had dominated my life as a as an undergraduate, uh, and I made a counterintuitive response to that. I, I decided I wanted to go work in the Pentagon. My reason for thinking that way was, if only people who wanted to have wars. If they were the people who populated the Pentagon, then we would always have more wars. But if we had uh, people who um, believed in alternatives uh, to war, it might make a difference 20 years later. Uh, and so I put my sights on the Pentagon and I lucked out. Uh, I got a management uh, trainee job, management internship job uh, in the office of the Secretary of Defense. I got to the White House from the State Department. I'd been an assistant secretary. So I went to the White House at a fairly high level in the Bush administration. Almost from the beginning, uh, I thought we were not paying enough attention to a new phenomenon that I smelt, I detected, and some other people did too. And that phenomenon turned out to have a name, and that name was Al-Qaeda. So I always kept Al-Qaeda under watch beginning... Oh, probably in 1992. In 1997, uh, they added to my portfolio uh, this new thing called cybersecurity. Uh, and when they insisted I take it on as an additional responsibility, I tried to learn uh, about it, tried to get books on the subject. And there really were not any good books then uh, that were an introduction to the topic. And so I used the fact that I was a special assistant to the president, to call up uh, Microsoft and Cisco and, and Symantec and the, the big names of the day uh, and say, uh, I'm from the White House. I really need to understand your company and this issue. Uh, so I want to meet with Bill Gates. <laughs> I want to meet with John Chambers. Uh, and that worked. Before 9-11, in the early months of the Bush administration, Bush II, it was pretty clear to me that they were not going to pay enough attention to al-Qaeda. Uh, and I really didn't want to be left holding the bag. Uh, and I also wanted there to be a full-time um, position worrying about cybersecurity. So I think in June, uh, before the September attacks, uh, I went to the National Security Advisor and said, I want to move from the terrorism portfolio since you don't pay enough attention to it and you're not doing what I recommend. I want to work full-time on cybersecurity and I want to create a new position to do that. Eventually, it happened and, and we did uh, create the first cybersecurity policy uh, position in the White House and it was well-staffed. I had quite a, quite a good staff. Uh, and we wrote a national uh, strategy for cybersecurity which I read the other day, and, uh, you know, 20 years on, it's still pretty good. My job is one of being a consultant, but it's a consultant to a diverse group of things. I try to work for corporate boards uh, and corporate leadership to explain the importance of cybersecurity to them. And I try to work with CISOs to be their advocate. Uh, and coach and validator. 
You know, when I started in cybersecurity looking for that book uh, that would be the good introduction, it didn't exist. And when I started looking for uh, university courses, uh, they didn't exist. And so I wrote the book. <laughs> and uh, I got a lot of universities to start the courses. I got a lot of federal money uh, to help universities start cyber programs. Uh, so a lot of what I wanted to learn then, one couldn't easily learn then and can much more easily learn now. This CyberWire Career Notes podcast is made possible by the University of San Diego's Masters in Cybersecurity programs. Cybersecurity Newsflash. In addition to gumming up the works with malware, phishing expeditions, and more, the black hat hackers of the world are also creating jobs. Let me explain. Cybercrime is causing so many headaches and financial losses that companies everywhere are paying top dollar for talent. University of San Diego's online cybersecurity engineering master's degree program is preparing the next generation of cyber experts, and you could be one of them. Connect with the USD team at sandiego.edu slash cyberwire. Mention this podcast and they'll waive the fee to apply. Hey 